But whenever the governor's prime responsibility is that a stable government continues, number one, can you allow me to complete? Number two, the democratically elected leader should not only enjoy the confidence of the house when the government is formed, he should continue to enjoy the confidence of the house throughout the tenure. And they say that's going to be my another limb of submission when I, I examine Lord the governor's power uh, in facts of the case is concerned. Otherwise, there would not be any accountability on the leader so far as his constituent electorate is concerned. He can say that now I am elected to hell with you. I will not concern. I am not concerned. The monsoon allow, me, allow me to. Mr. Solicitor, the monsoon Lord. session was coming. This was all happening in the third week of June, the last week Lord, of June. Can I complete? The monsoon session of the state legislative assembly was going to take place when you will place supplementary demands. That's the surest test. If they have to seek the vote of the House on passing legislation, on uh, supplementary demands, one aspect of a revenue measure, and if the government does not get a vote, they're out. Well, I will show the judgment. Well, I'll, the judgment well of the monsoon session which was going to take place. Well, I, I'll have to well, Lord, read some judgments also, well, Lord, and therefore I would earnestly request your lordships to defer this no, tentative yes, conclusion. This is, not, this is not a conclusion at all. This is a concern which we are. An expecting. Another, another thing. We may right? eventually accept your submission, and we will equally put your argument, to Mr. Sir. No, no, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. fully Mr. conscious. Why is confident in our quality? What is happening is but my, my worry is difficult. difficult. My worry is different. Ultimately, whoever fails, whoever succeeds, is a separate issue. But we Lord, my worry is what different. Is my worry is different, and I'll put it first. Lord. Thereafter, I'll answer that question at the outset and elaborate. But what was said was not just an inappropriate statement which the governor could have ignored. It was a threat that you, you, you will be brought dead and sent to post-mortem. That the house is being... Please don't no, condone it. Wait, 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 to the He wrote to Mr. Limay, he was the additional chief secretary, provide security. This, he, that is duty by providing that. that please provide security. Not just uh, duty by Permit me, Malar, to... Anyway, I'm but bringing down the government because of some some member of the legislative assembly saying that you know we will uh, you know that's, that's sorry, my lord, that's too simplistic a way to look at it. Lord, please look at it holistically. Thirty four persons, thirty four MLAs goes that we have lost confidence. They might be disqualified. They may not be disqualified. Whatever is the consequence, forget it for the time being. Along with two plus seven other MLAs that. The, this man is not enjoying majority support. Kindly, my lord, uh, allow me to complete. My lord, before your lordship, my lord, expresses the concern. They are not saying that we don't like him or we don't like the uh, uh, my lord uh, A B C D reasons, and therefore he has not uh, uh, he has lost our confidence. Now, my lord, all these allegations, all these threats are being administered, and the governor is supposed to be not a mute spectator because. The threats are administered not as a law and order situation. The threats are administered and governor is informed that with a view to create an artificial majority, now not only threats are administered on public platforms, but really attacks are taking place. Lord, would I expect the governor to sit as a mute spectator and say that you wait till your monsoon session. This is your internal dispute. You sort it out internally. The minimum thing, my lord, the governor, the Supreme Court has said is that the governor is not only entitled, he is duty bound to hold a, to, to direct that if this is the situation, you hold a full floor test. If that, my lord, according to their perception, might aggravate the situation for the chief minister, my lord, again, that consequence is not for the governor to keep in mind. If in a democratically elected body like the member, like a legislative assembly, if I am elected as a leader, I should not only inspire confidence at the outset, I should continue to have that confidence throughout my tenure. Otherwise, it results into complete lack of accountability and answerability, which is a facet of democracy, and it would result complete in, in, in complete tyranny. That now I am elected, you can do nothing to me. Look, that is not what is conceived of the governor's function because governor comes into picture only in rare situations like this. That for whatever reasons, you have lost your confidence. If 34 people have come, maybe because of my floor test, 34 may become 40. 
I am taking the extreme example, as your lordships have very rightly uh, expressed the concern, that it might aggravate the situation, but that's how the democracy works. That's how my lord leadership works. And th therefore, my lord, they say that you can inherit leadership. You cannot inherit leadership qualities. And that is where the leadership quality comes into play in a democracy. The concern, Mr. Mr. Mehta, is that what happens is people start ditching your government. And, you know, you ditch your government and then for a variety of reasons, the governments and the governors are willing allies by saying hold a trust vote. So, you give sanctity to this fact. I am not entering into the area whether they should have or they should not have. It's very That's for them to answer. It, this is a very uh, sad spectacle, you know, in our democracy that, you know, you allow... My Lord, I, I don't... Speech. As a governor, I can't answer that question. But otherwise, my Lord, if your Lordship... I mean, this is irrespective of the morality of the Shiv Sena having joined with the INC and the... Lord, that was also, my Lord, the majority the feels was a sad spectacle. My Lord, ultimately, all these resolutions say that having gone before the electorate... And my Lord, I, I would like to read, my Lord, kindly allow me, my Lord. Okay, some, I'm not, I'm, yes. uh, kindly allow me. Uh, in, in Kyoto, your lordship very carefully said that when you go before the electorate, you are not going as an individual. You are going as a representative of a particular ideology. You are doing two things. A, I, I am representing a particular ideology, vote for me. He represents another ideology, don't vote for me. Now, the situation before your lordships and before the governor was that majority of me who went with a particular ideology, particular coalition, particular my lord, uh, joint uh, my lord, program, sit with him against whom we contested the election and majority say that this is a spectacle we would not like to be a part of. I am not concerned as a governor. I am not concerned as a governor. So, that's my lord. And but they, they broke bread for three with for three years, no? Exactly. They broke bread with the International debate. Congress and the uh, and, and the uh, NCP for three years. What happened overnight after three years of you know a happy marriage? My Lord, please see, my Lord. Then I'll read, my Lord. What is their reason? Because it's not my function to answer that. That's a political debate. Or a governor has to ask himself this question. On lighter side, you can very well say. Staying together for three years cannot be said to be happy life. Would. <laughs> Why that? <laughs> the governor is to ask himself this question. What were you fellows doing for three years? Lord, you're, not, you're, has not, just... you're not in one month after the election has taken place. Lord, kindly, Lord, kindly come to One me. month after the election takes place, Lord, the chief not just suddenly breaks up with the, uh, gives a, uh, bypasses the BJP and joins with the INC. And Lord, Governor can say, sorry, there's a serious Lord, discontent in the party. Lord, I, three years you cohabit, and then suddenly one fine day, you know, a group of 34 say that there is discontent. Kindly allow me to play. They all what? went and became ministers. Yes, minister. But the difficulty is, my Lord, I, out of... Lord, Enjoying the spoils of office, and then suddenly, you know, one day you just... Uh, Wake up to the fact that... I, I leave it to your Lordship. Well, that's a political debate, but I have an answer. If your Lordship allows me, I'll answer. You can you can go to the law council. Yeah, now tell us show us the law now. Huh? I will I will. You stick for that. The let law me answer. First, then let me answer. By the letter. Uh, but let this do one thing. You can show the law, correct power of the governor. What can be weighed with the government, and thereafter you take it uh, uh, to take us to the letter that whether it fits in that uh, law or not. My Lord, kindly, my Lord, note here at this page yeah. fourteen is the answer. I'll come to it later. All. Page 14, why these three years of uh, cohabitation, my Lord, and why thereafter, my Lord, a divorce? I'll, I'll answer, my Lord. They have answered to me. They have given, shown, shown it to me. Uh, uh, me means the governor. The, the governor is given why we have been together and now what are, uh, why, why it's now, now or never situation, my Lord. That, that I'll, kindly, my Lord, allow me to place it at page 14, my Lord. Now, your Lordships, my Lord, kindly take these propositions, my Lord. And that would, my Lord, perhaps answer okay. your Lordships' questions. Because otherwise, my Lord, I, I may not be able to fulfill my promise of, my Lord, com concluding in... No, no, you are right, absolutely. I took some time out on asking. No, no, no. no, no. You are right, absolutely, you know. But, uh, but sometimes, you know, you... Oh, on, yeah, just, Lord, on a, on a, on a lighter just side. No, when no, the court, court is quiet, my Lord, as I said, the arguments are longer. And, my Lord, just since everything is, my Lord, now very, very serious... 
and I want to start the new point not on that serious yes, note. That. Kindly allow me to use my lord one. Uh, well, kindly, so before your lordship takes the proposition. Before your lordship takes the proposition, my lord, on a, on a little light note, uh, I'll start. But there is a Urdu couplet, Mr. Uh, Doctor, uh, Mr. Sibyl is fond of, my lord, both of us share that. Uh, there is a very good Urdu couplet on the situation which is arising. Raha, to aur galat badi. This is for the court. When the court is quiet, then we don't understand what is passing in the court's mind. Raha, to aur galat badi. Wo bhi suna hai usne jo maine kaha nahi. <laughs> so, this is... Wo bhi suna hai usne jo maine kaha nahi. Raha tha. So, when your lordships are quiet, we remember, we understand that there are ten points. What we in legal parlance call reading between the lines. But the the the, the those who those who write shares, they don't write for legal documentation. <laughs> they write for some particular person. They, they, they write for one individual. That one individual is relevant for them, those who write. By the way, who is the, the, the author of the couplet, Iqbal, or who is it? No, Malod, this is Vasim Barelvi. Oh, very fine. Very, very fine. Very fine. Malod, we're one of the Malod, uh, top ranking alive, poets who is alive. Malod. Contemporary Udu. By the way, uh, Mr. Sibyl, I don't know if Mr. Tushar Mehta, whether you've read this book called Dilli or Dilli. Which is written by one of our lawyers, on yes, the yes. Supreme Court Bar. It's yes, a beautiful yes. book. On, yeah, beautiful, yes. On a variety of uh, yes. Urdu poets. Yes, yes but the Delhi had that tradition, now it's dying. Unfortunately, the best tradition was in Lucknow. Lucknow also, I ask people that dying. there's a dying tradition. In Ilabad also, Firak Gorakhpuri and all, Malod, now, now that tradition is fading away. I'll not say dying. But it, it's fading away, my lord. It, it's not. But there are young, uh, my lord, the writers. It's the issue write. of language, my lord. Actually, language is taken over. And Urdu is a dying language as of today. That's the, that's the reality. And that, therefore, we are losing a lot of that culture. That's what it is. Yes. You would like to go through your propositions? Yes, yes my lord. Kindly, my lord, yes, come. Go through your propositions, so then we are done. We just then look at judgments. Para four, my lord. Para four. Para four. Lord, uh, page one, uh, para one, Lord. In a parliamentary democracy, the cabinet and the chief minister must enjoy and must continue to enjoy the majority support of the house at any given point of time. It is the constitutional obligation of the governor to ensure that government is stable and the government as well as chief minister enjoys majority support in the house. The argument, Lord, third, right now your lordships may ignore, I'll come to it a little later. Four. The question as to whether the government or chief minister has lost confidence or support of the house is not to be decided by the governor and shall have to be decided on the floor of the house. The governor, based upon the material from wherever derived, well, this expression I have borrowed from Bomai, from wherever derived, because this was an expression used by the committee of governors appointed in 70s and Bomai has approved that report, my lord, can only arrive at a conclusion that prima facie the cabinet or the chief minister has lost confidence, support of the house, which requires to be tested on the floor of the house. His satisfaction is limited only to the requirement of floor test and not whether A enjoys majority or B enjoys majority. Now, my lord, your lordship's very pertinent question was that if, I am sorry, my lord, your lordship's yes. that merely because there is some internal dissatisfaction amongst the party. Can the governor take this call or not? Lord, a similar question arose, Lord, in case of Rameshwar Prasad, where the question was that you are permitting somebody to request you to hold a floor test would violate 10th schedule. Because what these people, this group, who is expressing no confidence against the chief minister, stand disqualified or will stand disqualified under the 10th schedule. And the question before the court was, whether the governor, while taking a decision under say, Article 174 and 175, is concerned what will be the effect of their act ultimately in the 10th schedule. Right? I, I hope I am able to make myself clear. 
while taking the decision, I am supposed to be cognizant that what they are doing might be a reason for 10 schedule punishment, a consequence subsequently. Your lordship similar to a constitution bench says no. Amen. The governor is agnostic to 10 schedule. He has to be satisfied that the confidence is lost. Prima facie, it needs to be tested on the floor. They may suffer consequence, they may not suffer consequence. That's not the governor for the governor to see. That's what your lordships have said.